students in this class we are going to see nomenclature of beta lactamase inhibitors the first example for beta lactamase inhibitor is, is clavulanic acid this is the structure of clavulanic acid already we have seen two types of a nomenclature one is called ca system another one is called usp system what is meant by ca system that is called chemical abstract system for that the numbering starts from oxygen because what would be the priority order for heteroatoms that is called o s n so oxygen is getting higher priority then sulfur then nitrogen so that is according to ca system but what is the second system i told that is called usp system so in the case of usp system the numbering starts from nitrogen not from oxygen okay so here numbering starts from nitrogen already we have seen this no type of nomenclature in nomenclature of penicillin okay so in the case of clavulanic acid we are using usp system so according to usp system the numbering starts from nitrogen so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and look at the structure of clavulanic acid it is having fusion of two rings what is the first ring that is called as beta lactam ring that would be fused with the five membered ring okay so this one is four membered and this one is five membered so totally so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it is having seven atoms okay so what is attached in the first position so first position we have nitrogen so that's why one aza fourth position what we are having that is oxygen so that's why four oxa four oxa one aza two rings no that's why bicyclo so seven totally seven no that's why heptane if we are having carboxylic acid that should end with carboxylic acid that's why it is called two carboxylic acid and already we said it is a bicycloheptane no whenever we are few whenever we are telling bicyclo means we have to tell this one so we are taking this in so according to this here we have 3 1 2 3 okay so and according to that this in 2 1 2 here nothing would be attached that's why 3 2 0 so what is uh, what is the name we have seen 4 oxa 1 aza by cyclo 3 2 0 heptane totally 7 no so heptane 2 carboxylic acid so what is left here now third position and seventh position seventh position we have oxygen that's why 7 oxo and in third position what is attached double bond ch ch2 oh so if you are replacing the hydroxy group what is attached in the third position that is called double bond ch ch3 that can be called as ethylidine so this is the first carbon of ethylidine and this is the second carbon of ethylidine so second carbon of ethylidine is having hydroxy group that's why it is called two hydroxy ethylidine that is attached with the seventh uh, sorry third position that's why its chemical name is 3 open bracket two hydroxy this is called ethylidine then 7 oxo 4 oxa 1 aza by cyclo by cyclo here 3 2 0 here 0 7 that's why heptane 2 carboxylic acid so that is the chemical name of clavulanic acid next is sulbactam this is a second example for beta lactamase inhibitor Com this is the structure of sulbactam compare the structure of sulbactam with the clavulanic acid what would be the difference same seven member sorry a uh, fusion of uh, two rings so it is having it is also having bicycle bicyclic ring system and having same nitrogen in the first position but fourth position clavulanic acid is having oxygen but this one is having sulfur and that sulfur is connected with two oxygens and uh, second position both are having carboxylic acid and seventh position both are having ketone but look at the third position for clavulanic acid third position is having what is it two hydroxy ethylidine but here third position is having dimethyl so that is the difference okay so only three difference so what are they one is fourth position clavulanic acid is having oxygen but here that is having sulfur second one is that sulfur is having two oxygens i mean that is connected with two oxygens and third position that is having a uh, two hydroxy ethylidine but this one is having dimethyl okay now we'll see the chemical name so what is the chemical name 
everything would be the same having um, fusion of two rings that is four membered and five membered that would be fused and we are getting bicycle so already we have the name what is it first portion we have nitrogen fourth portion we have sulfur okay so according to that so what is the chemical name four thia one aza this is bicyclo already we have known 1 2 3 so 3 2 0 heptane 2 carboxylic acid but here it is having oxygens in fourth, fourth portion no two oxygens i mean two oxides that's why 4 4 dioxide it should end with 4 4 dioxide so what is left here third and seventh portion so what is that 3 3 dimethyl 7 oxo 1 thia sorry 4 thia 4 thia 1 aza by zyclo uh, here 3 here 2 0 heptane so 7 that is why heptane 2 carboxylic acid 4 4 dioxide so that is the chemical name of sulbactam next one is tazobactam it is having similar structure with sulbactam so only one difference so what is the difference sulbactam having uh, dimethyl in third portion here already one methyl is there in the case of second methyl one hydrogen is replaced by means of this triazole so what is the name of uh, heterocyclic ring present here that is called triazole triazole means triaza triaza means having three nitrogens it is a five membered means that should end with zole so triazole but nitrogens are attached in first second and third that's why it is called one two three triazole so what is the difference between sulbactam with the tazobactam sulbactam is having dimethyl in third portion whereas here one hydrogen is replaced from one methyl by means of this one two three triazole so that is the structure of tazobactam so what is the change change only in third portion so what is the chemical name in the case of a sulbactam that is 3 3 dimethyl we can write but here we can write 3 methyl 7 oxo then 3 already we said it is called the triazole which triazole it is nitrogen is attached in first second and third that is why it is called 1 2 3 triazole but here the first nitrogen no so that is attached with the methylene bridge so that is why it is called 1 yl okay if it is not attached hydrogen should be there that is why it is called 1H123 triazole so what is the chemical name uh, this is 3 methyl methyl attached by means of alpha configuration here this CH2 no that is attached here by means of beta configuration already we have seen alpha and beta configuration in steroids no so what is meant by alpha configuration here this group is attached below the nucleus what is meant by beta configuration here that would be attached above the nucleus so alpha that is indicated by means of a dotted line beta that would be indicated by means of a thick line so what is the chemical name 3 methyl or we can write 3 alpha methyl okay 3 methyl here 7 oxo then uh, 3 here in the 3 already we said it is 1H no why it is called 1H one, one if it is not attached here there may be hydrogen that is why 1H 1 2 3 triazole we should not write that E triazole for triazole we are writing uh, ZOLE no we should not write that E if it is attached means so triazole 1 YL first portion is attached with this so 1 YL this is methyl then 4 thia 1 aza bicyclo bicyclo already we have known 3 and 2 0 heptane 2 carboxylic acid 4 4 dioxide so that is the chemical name of tazobactam next one is called thianamycin this is the structure of thianamycin it is also having fusion of two rings so totally seven that's why heptane but it is having double bond no so that's why it is called heptene the numbering starts from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so what are the substitutions attached second portion we have carboxylic acid and in third portion what is attached yes ch2 ch2 nh2 and uh, sixth portion what is attached ch oh ch3 i mean seventh portion we have a ketone so now come here so what is it 
already we have known we have ketone matter seventh means we can write seven oxo one thia sorry one aza seven oxo one aza this is bicyclo uh, here three two zero because of the double bond it is called hept heptene where the double bond is between between two and three that's why hept two ene two carboxylic acid so what is uh, what i said so that is seven oxo one aza bicyclo now here three here two zero hept two ene two carboxylic acid now what is left substitution in third position and substitution in sixth position now come to third position okay in the case of third position what is attached yes with 2ch2 ch2 ch2 nh2 that's why here already we have known 2ch2 means that is called ethyl ch2 ch2 no so that is ethyl so this is first carbon of ethyl this is second carbon of ethyl so in the second carbon what is attached amino group is attached that's why it is called um three open bracket two amino this is ethyl then thio close the bracket now come to sixth position sixth position here here also ethyl here ch oh ch three no so here one carbon here one carbon so two carbons no ethyl this is first carbon this is second carbon so first carbon of ethyl is having hydroxy that's why one hydroxy ethyl but this carbon no that is having r configuration that's why one r okay one r one hydroxy ethyl one hydroxy ethyl close bracket seven oxo one aza bicyclo now uh, here three two zero hept two e to carboxylic acid so that is the chemical name of thionamycin next drug is called imipenem so this is the structure of imipenem so what is the difference between um, uh, thionamycin with imipenem thionamycin is also having hydroxy ethyl group in sixth position having um, carboxylic acid in seven uh, sorry second one ketone in seventh position but what is the difference third portion that is having two amino that one is having two amino ethyl ethyl thio ethyl thio group but here with the amino group what is attached here extra that is having amino methyl so that is the only difference so what is meant by imipenem amino methyl is attached here by replacing one hydrogen from the amino group so what is the chemical name here in sixth position we have this is first position this is second position of that ethyl so here um, this is a six first carbon that's why one hydroxy this is ethyl close the bracket then come to third position in the third position this is first carbon and second carbon of ethyl with the second carbon only this is no this is called as imine this is imino imine that's why imino this is methyl then amino two carbons no that's why ethyl this is ethyl then thio close the bracket seven oxo one aza this is bicyclo here three here two here zero hept two in double bond is between 2 and 3 that's why hep to 2 in 2 carboxylic acid so that is the chemical name of imipenem next one is called meropenem this is the structure of meropenem compare the structures of thionamycin imipenem and meropenem so all are having same this one bicyclo rings i mean having two rings one is a four member another one is a five member and having nitrogen in the first position and double bond between two and three and second position that is having carboxylic acid seventh position that is having ketone all are having ketone and sixth one all are having one hydroxy ethyl they differ only in uh, only in third position okay so but here this would be extra for fourth position meropenem is having a methyl that two are not having methyl in fourth position not having any substitution in the fourth position only meropenem is having methyl in the fourth position mero that indicates me no that indicates methyl in the fourth position 
uh, for uh, thionamycin what is present in the third portion so for thionamycin a third portion that is having amino ethyl thio group so s ch2 ch2 ns2 that is for thionamycin in the case of imipenum that one is having uh, so what is attached in that that is called that is called uh, two amino two amino methyl amino ethyl so that is having s ch2 ch2 nh nh ch double bond nh that is for um, imipenum in the case of meropenum so what is attached here in the third portion that is also having sulfur with the sulfur what is attached that is called pyrrolidin pyrrolidin is attached with the pyrrolidin what is attached co n ch3 twice so that is for meropenum that is only one that is having methyl in the fourth position so what now we'll see the chemical name so in the third position what is attached sulfur with the sulfur only pyrrolidin would be attached what is meant by pyrrolidin pyrrole is not having double bond with, uh, within the structure means that is called as pyrrolidin so five membered heterocyclic ring having nitrogen as the heteroatom and that is not having any bond that means uh, that can be called as pyrrolidin okay for the pyrrolidin numbering starts from 1 2 3 4 in the case of fifth position of pyrrolidin what is attached co n n that is having two methyl so by replacing that methyl that is called co nh2 so co nh2 no that can be called as carboxamide amide or carboxamide that's why it is also having substitution no that's why it is called carbamoyl so which carbamoyl it is two methyl that's why it is called dimethyl carbamoyl so that is attached in the fifth position now pyrrolidin that's why uh, three open bracket here fifth position no so five dimethyl this is called dimethyl this is called carbamoyl close the bracket and this is pyrrolidin if we should not write that e already i said no if there is substitution we should not write that e so pyrrolidin here third position of pyrrolidin is connected with the sulfur that's why pyrrolidin 3 yl then thio close the bracket then come to sixth position we have seen already so what is that one hydroxy ethyl close the bracket then 4 methyl we can write 4 beta methyl because of a thick line no so 4 beta methyl or 4 methyl then 7 oxo 1 aza this is bicyclo here 3 20 hept 2e 2 carboxylic acid so that is the chemical name of meropenum that's all about the nomenclature of beta lactamase inhibitors